Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. A Seoul court has handed down an eight-month prison term and a penalty of 4.76 million won to a man in his 30s for allegedly developing a macro program that enables users to unlawfully purchase large amounts of face masks on online shopping malls. The man reportedly developed and sold the program for 200,000 won starting in February when demand for masks started to rise and online platforms limited the number of masks customers could purchase. He also made profits by reselling some 15,000 masks he purchased using his macro program and 17 other people's accounts. South Korea added 59 novel coronavirus infections yesterday, which were reported in eight regions, including in the metropolitan area as well as Daejeon, Daegu City, and North Jeolla Province. It marked the largest jump in infections this month, and quarantine officials expressed concerns of a nationwide large-scale transmission if the virus continues to spread at the current pace. In addition to several cluster infections in Seoul and the surrounding areas, at least 25 patients have been reported in relation to a door-to-door retailer group infection in Daejeon since Monday evening. The ruling Democratic Party has expressed its determination to appoint the heads of 12 standing committees at a plenary session today. Its leadership requested Parliamentary Speaker Park Byung-suk to finalize the formation of the standing committees as soon as possible yesterday, as the appointment for only six out of the 18 committee's heads have been made so far. Park has vowed to hold a plenary session today, but the main opposition, United Future Party, says it will not participate in any sessions or negotiations unless the ruling party gives up the chairpersonship of the Legislation and Judiciary Standing Committee. Finally, South Korea's special representative for Korean Peninsula Peace and Security Affairs, Lee Do-hun, met with his American counterpart, Stephen Began, in Washington, D.C., Thursday local time, according to the foreign ministry. The two held closed-door talks to evaluate the current situation on the Korean Peninsula and countermeasures. The ministry didn't reveal any details of their meeting, but said its focus was on preventing the current situation from deteriorating and denied that Lee visited the U.S. as a special envoy. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. If you click on that link, you'll also get a script of the headlines and the subtitles. Coming up next, our Economy Tutor.